In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily log photos app on an iPhone. Be sure to watch the video to the very end so you don't make any mistakes. I'm gonna show you several ways how we can easily do so and let's start with simple hiding specific photos. So first off guys, if we open up photos app uh, and if we wanna, you know, hide some photos from here to prevent uh, someone from getting access to them, we can easily do so using inbuilt iPhone feature. Let's say I wanna hide uh, this photo and uh, to do that I'm just gonna long press on it and then tap at hide and then hide photo. What that will do, that will actually hide this photo, so actually the photo is now moved to another album. Uh, later I'm gonna show you how we can easily find that album and how we can lock it. But now, first off, let me show you how we can hide several photos at once. To do that, just hit select, then select several pictures, tap at three dots here, hide, and then hide photos. Now guys, if we want to hide the hidden album, first off, we need to get into albums here. Then scroll down and that's where we can find our hidden album. However, now this album isn't locked. So anyone who have our device in their hands are able to get access to uh, that album. And now let me show you how we can easily lock it. To do that, we need to head over to settings. After that, scroll down until you find photos. And here we are looking for the option which is called use face ID. If we activate it and then if we go back to our albums, we can see that now uh, hidden and recently deleted albums are locked. We can identify that by this lock icon. And now if I try to get access to that album, I need to use Face ID to get into that album. That's a cool feature to hide some, you know, sensitive photos, sensitive content, uh, not just photos, but also videos. By the way, if later on you change your mind, you can easily unhide any picture in the same way, just uh, long press on it and tap at unhide, and that will immediately move this picture back to your uh, main photo library. Here it is. However, guys, if you want to log the entire photos app, there is no inbuilt way to do that, but I'm going to show you some workaround. To do that, first off, we need to search for that application, which is called Shortcuts. By default, it is pre-installed on any iPhone. It is official Apple application. If you don't have it on your home screen, just uh, swipe down and then search for shortcuts in that way. That's how you can easily find that app. Once the app is open, we need to first off get into automation and it will show you all the automations here. Maybe your list is empty. Now we need to tap right here at this plus to create new automation. Then just scroll down until you find app here, first off, we need to choose the application. I'm going to hit Add Choose and then we need to choose four photos. That's how we can select it. Keep in mind that here we can select several applications. Let's say if you want to block uh, Google Photos app as well, you can easily do so. Just check mark several applications in that way. Once it is done, hit Done. After that, uh, keep is open selected. After that, tap at run immediately. And uh, I don't recommend you to turn on that option. So you need to configure all that stuff like right now you can see on my screen. And after that, hit next. Then tap at new blank automation here. 
tap add action hit add search box and enter lock then scroll down and select lock screen after that hit done the automation is already created and now what that will do is when we try to open up all the selected apps uh, photos app and google photos app it will lock our screen so then we'll have to use our face id to unlock our device and that is our workaround how we can lock photos app or any other app on an iphone i'm going to show you how it works you see as soon as I tap at phone app icon, it locks my screen and now I need to use Face ID to get access to that app and after that I can uh, use any, uh, I, I, I can watch any photos without any problems. However, as soon as I close up, it will again require Face ID to get access to the app. Basically guys, that's it. So if this video was helpful for you, don't forget to hit the like button.